Hello. In this Java tutorial, we will learn about while loops and the similar do while loops. While loops repeat commands while a Boolean expression remains true. Do while loops checks the Boolean expression at the end of the loop and will always run at least once. Let's look at a very simple while loop. This one, while true, will always evaluate to true so the body of the loop will execute forever. Now let's look at a slightly more complex while loop. This one says while i is greater than 0. We see i is initialized to 4, so it will run, execute the code in the body, go back up to the top, evaluate to true again. Because the value i is never changed inside the body of the loop, this loop will also run forever. Now let's make a change. We add a command to decrement the value of i. As such, the loop will no longer run forever. Actually, we could have written a very similar loop using the for loop. Let's take a look at that. Here we have for, start off i equal to 4. We continue running as long as i is greater than 4 and at the end of each loop, we decrement the value of i by 1. Let's try tracing out this while loop. We start by declaring i and initializing it to 4. Next, we check is i greater than 0. A while loop doesn't necessarily run even one time. If this first evaluates to false, we will skip over the entire body of the while loop. Since this evaluates to true, we will continue on and execute the body of the while loop. System out print line i, which is currently equal to 4. Then we decrement the value of i by 1. Then we go back to the top, check is i still greater than 0. It is. Continue on into the body of the loop again. Output the value of i, which is 3. Decrement i by 1. Go back and check is i still greater than 0. It is output the value of i, decrement the value of i, back up to the top to check if i is still greater than 0, it is, output the value of i, decrement the value of i, which is now 0, go back up to the top, see is i still greater than 0, this Boolean expression is now false, so we will terminate the loop and continue on with any code afterward. As I mentioned before, we could have written this as a for loop. Let's look at a piece of code where it makes a little more sense to use a while loop. Here, we are having the user guess the value of a secret number, in this case 23, and they'll have to keep guessing until they get the right answer. We initialize user guess equal to zero, while user guess, the variable, is not equal to the secret number 23, this loop will continue executing. Inside the body of the loop, it'll ask, guess what the number I'm thinking of. It will take user input and put the value into the user guess variable, go back up to the top, and see if user guess is still not equal to 23. The loop will keep repeating until user guess is 23. Then the loop will terminate, and the code after it will execute that says, you got it right. Another kind of loop that is not required for the AP Computer Science A exam, but is still very useful, is the do while loop. A do while loop checks the Boolean expression at the end of the loop. As such, a do while loop will always execute at least one time. Let's look at this example. We have int i equals negative 2. It says do. So we'll execute system out print line i, decrement i by 1. Then we check, is i greater than 0? It is not, so we terminate the loop and continue onwards. Note that at the end of the while in a do while loop, we have a semicolon. For more information on while and do while loops, either check this website here, or type the while and do while statements oracle into Google and check the first result. To see the next lesson in this curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, 
please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of this screen.